we're testing out the craziest myths in Fortnite history. We're attempting to melt the Fortnite iceberg. Okay, we're dropping down to the iceberg right now to melt the ice to free Aang, free his bison. You're probably wondering how on earth I'm about to do that. It, it's very simple. With one specific item, we're going to be able to do that, and we have to use it in one specific place to melt this ice. But here's the huge issue, Team Top 5. The storm is already coming in because this iceberg is right next to the edge of the map, so we have to go quick in order for this to work. Subscribe to the channel if you want Aang to be freed. If you want the Aang skin, I love all of my fans so much. If I'm your favorite YouTuber, make sure to use code Mr. Top 5 in the item shop. But Team Top 5, before I show you how to apparently melt the ice, all we are going to do in replay mode is attempt to glitch inside of the iceberg. You can see Aang, and this looks insane. You can see the bison, and all we are about to do is phase inside of this ball and see the skin we are about to unlock there are rumors that this bison is going to be the new clombo i don't know if this is real i don't know if this is fake but we are getting very close and apparently we're about to phase inside if it lets us in if this doesn't work we're also gonna glitch under the map and try to go under three two one it literally does not let us through so why don't we just glitch under the map and the way to do that, all you have to do, Team Top 5, is go all the way to the edge of the map just like this. Go under, and as you can see, we are now fully under the map. Now, once we go back up, as you can see super easily, we are fully under the map. So now let's just head back to the iceberg, go from under, and let's glitch inside. Will this work? I have no idea, but I'm doing this for you guys, so please subscribe. Okay, we are now at the iceberg, and all we are about to do is try to go from the bottom bottom and wait a minute i see openings no matter where i go it just won't let me through and i am now stuck inside of the iceberg or i clearly doesn't want us seeing it but what if we use one fortnite item that literally apparently can melt the ice a brand new item okay guys all we have to do is look through every single chest for one of the brand new items in order for this to work i got a comment saying that if you shoot it in one specific place you're going to be able to melt the ice i'm sure a lot of you guys know exactly what i'm talking about we have a minute and 13 seconds until the storm comes in all right another chest right here come on we don't have much time there's even more chests all the way around here and all we're gonna do is go on this jump pad go to the top because there's an exotic chest we might be able to get it right here guys we are running out of time we don't have literally more than a minute to do this come on exotic chest please okay we got a legendary but that is not what we wanted but there's more chests all the way over here so let's just jump on down guys we are literally running out of time. We got a golden banana, but that's still not what we need. There's literally one more chest. One final chance in order to get the item to melt this ice and free Aang. I have no idea if this is real. I have no idea if this is about to work, but let's find out. Come on, please. And let's go! We just got the water bending mythic item. And apparently, Team Top 5, if we shoot this in one specific place, there is a way to melt this ice. I'm about to bust this or prove it real. And this is just one of many myths we're testing in Fortnite Season 2. As you can see, Aang is right down there. His bison is literally trapped. This is coming to Fortnite on April 12th. But apparently, all you have to do is activate the water bending. If you shoot at the top of this ice long enough, with the water bending for some reason it'll actually melt the ice it doesn't sound like it'll make sense but apparently that's the reason fortnite only added water bending early so guys let's make a deal you have to subscribe to the channel if this works so all we're gonna do is just start shooting the ice and now we're gonna reload and we're literally just going to keep on going this mythic is literally so overpowered guys we're gonna do this for like long as we possibly can we're gonna see what happens and this is only myth number one Guys, I think we have been completely fooled, but please subscribe to the channel anyways. Apparently, we have the first glitch of the season that allows us to go under the map. All you have to do is go to Reckless Railways, which is odd enough because this is not a new location. This is far from new, and all you have to do, head on to this exact spot, and then simply break this floor right here. And as you can see, there is a little spot right here that you can just hide inside of the entire game and no one will ever see you. 
can't break the floor, you can't break the walls. This is so overpowered for hiding. That myth is confirmed. How to get the Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 2 FOV glitch. Look how zoomed out he is. He can literally see everyone. This is so overpowered for getting wins. But how do you do it? And when will Fortnite break it? I mean, patch it. Okay, all you need is the Icarus Wings. Then the first thing you have to do is glide without using your keys, without using your controller or whatever. Basically, you just glide without clicking any keys whatsoever. And then what? What do you do? Press W at the same time that you land, and apparently you will literally just... Oh my gosh, that is insane. And once you de-equip the wings, look how zoomed out you are. That is confirmed. Fortnite Season 2 skin glitch. What is this? Network connection lost. There was an error. And wait a minute, he just got Lachlan, he got Mr. Beast, he got Ninja, he got Loser Fruit, Travis Scott, literally every single icon skin, hold on! Okay, what is he doing? So he goes to the shop tab, and then he... Okay, he hits got it, he refreshes it, and now what is he doing? He goes to support a creator, and he types in this really weird code. Guys, don't do this until I see if it's real or fake, because this could be someone just trying to scam and get creator codes. Okay, and he hits search, and then he hits refresh once again. There was an error. So it says there's an error, and then he gets a bunch of icon skins for free. Real or fake? I have no idea. Let's find out. Okay, we're in the shop right now. Shop refresh info. Let's hit got it. And now let's put in his creator code, UDV. Let's hit search, and there it is. And now all we do, we hit cancel. We hit refresh again. Guys, if this does not work, do not use that code. Okay, we hit got it, and nothing happened, guys. Do not use this code. That is a scam. That myth is busted. But what code you should use is code MrTop5 if I'm your favorite YouTuber. Thank you very much. What happens if two players use the Thunderbolt of Zeus at the exact same time? Lux, how is this going to go, dude? I'm going to get the victory royale. No, I think I'm going to get the victory royale, buddy boy. All right, oh. let's see how this works. Stand back. Okay, are we doing this on one or are we doing this on go? On go. All right, who's doing the countdown, Miryu? You do it. All right, three, two, one, go! Oh my! Oh. What? I won! I pressed it before you! That... Actually, we were at the exact same time. That is insane. Myth confirmed? I don't even know what I just confirmed. Apparently, if you subscribe with the notifications, you'll put a huge smile on my face. Please subscribe right now. Can we make this boss fight this boss because they are right next to each other? All we're going to do is go inside Mount Olympus. We're going to aggravate the boss here, head on back down to the other location, and see if this boss here follows me and fights the other boss. This is going to be insane and this has never been done before all right all we're gonna do is challenge zeus in three two one okay zeus where are you there you are all right all we're gonna do now is just aggravate him come on oh, oh my gosh okay all right now that zeus is extremely mad we're gonna slowly start making our way over to the other location and we're gonna see if zeus somehow with a crazy glitch will be able to follow me Okay, I don't know if he's following me quite yet, but all we're gonna do is go down to the battleground, which is only 300 meters away, challenge the next boss, and see if we can get them together. Okay, we're now at the next location, and as you can see, the boss tags and everything from the top are completely gone. We're gonna find a way to get them back, but the first thing we're gonna have to do, head on into this location, challenge this boss too, and see if we can get them together. Okay, we challenge Zeus. Now we're gonna challenge Harry. All right, where is he? Oh my gosh, there are so many minions everywhere. We have to eliminate all of them, but now what we're gonna do, we're gonna head back over to the original location so we can get Aries right next to me. We're gonna get him to follow me. Apparently, this is going to work. Apparently, it doesn't work when Zeus tries to follow Hades, but it will work when Hades follows Zeus. And what will happen when they fight each other? This is going to be the most game-breaking thing ever. Subscribe to the channel to join Team Top 5. All right, goodbye to you. Where are all of these men? Oh, all right, there he is. Now what we're gonna do is attack him and let's head on over. Oh my gosh, I have 31 health. Okay, come on, Ares. Follow my lead, buddy. 
Follow my lead, Aries. Don't eliminate me, dude. Don't eliminate me. All we have to do is head straight on over to the circle. As you can see, Aries is fully following me out of the storm, which is good. He's leaving his location. And then all of a sudden, he stops. He stays in his home base. These bosses don't want to meet each other. That myth is busted. He's going completely back to where he came from. Apparently, if you wear the Hades skin and you wear this exact style, if you go and attack the boss, he will literally be friendly because he thinks he's himself. I don't know if this is real. I don't know how this is possible. And some insane things happen. He turns friendly. We're gonna bust this. We're gonna see if this is real. We're gonna see if this is fake for you guys. Team Top 5, make sure to subscribe. Okay, all we have to do is go to the underworld right now as Hades, the literal boss. And all we're gonna do is challenge him right now. Apparently, when we challenge him, it just won't do anything. He'll spawn, and then he just won't attack. But let's see if this is real. In three, two, one, challenge Hades. Okay, let's see what happens. Where the heck is he? So the minions still will attack me, but Hades will not. All right, so all we're going to do is go eliminate the minions because they know I'm not real, but apparently it fools Hades himself. Let's see what actually happens. All we're going to do is get a bunch of guns, eliminate every single one of these minions, and then let's go talk to Hades. Look at him. He's right over there. I don't want to attack him. Look, he's not even shooting. He's not doing anything. I don't know if this is going to stay the same. Eliminate all of the minions. Goodbye to you. Goodbye to you. Okay, so far so good. Nothing is happening. We still have a few more minions and Hades is just sitting there. But I am very curious to see what happens after we eliminate all of them. If Hades will just be friendly because I am one of him. There is only one way to find out, all right? Goodbye to you. There's only one more minion left to go. And let's see what happens. Okay, now it's going to say defeat Hades. Let's go up to him right now. And apparently he's now friendly. Let's see. Oh, nothing even happened. Nothing even happened. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, that myth is busted. If I build all the way to max height and I use Zeus's Thunderbolt after jumping off the ledge, does it prevent fall damage? And I'm going to use Zeus's Thunderbolt at the last second before hitting the ground. This has never been done before, and we're going to see if this can save you if you're about to get eliminated from fall damage and you need a way out at the last second. Let's keep on building up until we are fully in the sky. We are so far off the ground already. But let's keep on going until we are literally at max out height. This is going to be game breaking if this works. All right, let's keep on going. I am so excited. Keep on going. All right, we are just about at max height. Okay, we are now at max height. And we are about to do this. Oh, the ground looks so far away. Three, two, one one jump and at the last second three two one let's see it let's see it save my life please oh my gosh it completely prevented fall damage that myth is confirmed this llama is 230 meters away but can the thunderbolt of zeus hit it three two one let's find out Oh my gosh, it literally did. But will Zeus's Mythic hit a player from over 400 meters away? Okay, Lox, are you at the statue thing? The, the two swords? I'm at the two swords. All right, all I'm going to do is three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You just broke my builds. You just broke my builds. You broke... You knocked me down, so technically it reached. That's almost 500 meters. How far does this thing go? Okay, we are now 655 meters away. Lux, are we going to be able to pull this off? I don't think so. All right, I am very nervous. Three, two, one, and shoot it. Oh. Oh. Dude. That's close, but you're like... I want to say you're like 52 meters where it ends. So do I have to aim up even more? A little, little bit more, I think. Try it again. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there, there, there's, there's a distance. 
about 52 meters away, it stops. And we're exactly 652 meters away, meaning the max distance must be 600. Did that come close to you? That's pretty close. 600 seems to be the max. Can you glitch past the border and go to Spawn Island with the wing? Launch in the air and let's start ascending all the way towards Spawn Island and let's see what happens when we reach the border. This has never been done before. What happened? Oh, we're literally stuck in the border and we haven't even made it close to the area yet. That myth is busted. The Titan hand is now on the ground. Pandora's box is closed. We have this crazy goo. Apparently the entire Titan is now under the map. First, we're gonna see what's inside of Pandora's box. If there's some new crazy thing added and then we're also going to see what is under the map where this Titan is. Because obviously we have the hand itself and connected to the hand, should be an entire titan under the map according to the leaks all we have to do is go to the edge of the map just like this completely go under and as you can see once we come back we're gonna be fully under where is this titan let's find out we are now under what clues does this season two map under hold for us right under the hand is here and i definitely see something under the map that i have not seen before hold on we're gonna go to this location right now okay i'm not seeing a titan but what is inside of pandora's box we are about to stop the hand rising live event locks apparently you have crazy glitches that are gonna allow us to stop it <laughs> we're Dude. not gonna let this hand get through to the to the earth you not are crazy watch. please don't get us banned there is just lava rising everywhere okay what do i need to do dude we need mats mats lots of mats match stat let's start building over the hand and preventing it with a ton of layers from rising up sir what? i'm stuck you're stuck help dude just all right there we go i'm out all right i need another vehicle so i need not one I need 20. So, Lox, we're putting all the vehicles inside of the hand. That is crazy. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna make a layer. It's like like a cake. Think of it like a cake, a delicious cake with the multiple layers. We got the cake. All right, Lox, this is looking really really good right now. Okay. Okay. And now let's all build right. a second layer. All right. There is no way this hand is making it through. Lox, hurry, hurry. One more minute. I got the car. One I more got minute. The car. All right. Now we need 18 more cars. All right, Lox. We have an entire platform built above the hand. Are you ready, dude? Fully set. We are fully ready. There is no way the hand is going to break through all of this in three, two, one. Oh my gosh. What? That is crazy. That is literally. Oh. Oh my gosh, it is beautiful. It is literally beautiful. Okay, well, we definitely did not stop it. But what did it look like under the map when the hand was rising? Are there any secrets, any Easter eggs under the map itself when the hand came out of the ground? Let's find out. Okay, there's fire. Oh my gosh. Look at the hand itself. This is insane. You can see the hand rising from the ground. We're about to figure out so many more myths, so many more Easter eggs that you guys have never seen before. And look, you can see the hand under the map itself. That is literally so insane, but there's so many more myths. What happens if we jump down and land inside of the fire tornado from the Pandora's box that just opened up? All we're gonna do, we just dropped on down from the battle bus and apparently something insane happens if we go right inside of it and we drop down just like this and we land straight inside of it. I have no idea what is about to happen, but all we're gonna do is just keep on slowly landing down just like this. All right, we are straight inside of the Pandora's box tornado just like this and we're gonna see exactly what happens i am nervous all right all we're gonna do we are fully going straight inside of the pandora's box right now and let's just keep on going so we land straight inside of it i have no idea what is about to happen but let's just keep on going 
Okay, the Pandora's box is literally right below us. All right. And it's pushing us away. It doesn't even let us straight inside. That myth is busted. Apparently nothing happens. What is inside of the Pandora's box? We are about to find out. We have this fiery, crazy tornado. But as you can see, when we land on the side, we don't really know what is inside. Because basically what goes on, as soon as you go on the center, as you can see, we just fly up and we never see what's inside of the Pandora's box. But we are about to do a crazy glitch to go inside of the Pandora's box and see what exactly is inside of here. So all we're going to do is go up to the top like this, go on the inside and use a crazy glitch to not actually go and get booted off just like this. So all we're going to do is try that in three, two, one. All we have to do is go to the center corner side Crouch down just like this, and let's just slowly, very sneakily, go to the edge, and we should be able to walk on Pandora's box without being booted off. And this should allow us to go on the inside, but I don't know if this is true. Let's try it right now. All right, all we're gonna do is slowly go on the inside just like this. All right, we are on the inside right now. We are floating, as you can see. And all we're going to do is just keep on slowly going closer and closer until we teleport under the box and see exactly what loot. Okay, it just completely shot us off. So all we're going to do is go back just like this. Just keep on going, okay? As soon as we get close, we just get kicked off. But what if we glitch under the map? How the heck are we about to see what is inside of Pandora's box? We are in replay mode right now. And as you can see, all we are going to do is glitch inside of the box itself with all of the fire, with all of the lightning. And let's see exactly what is inside in three two one as you can see when we try going in replay no matter where we go it does not let us go inside you see a box you see a bunch of light but no matter where we are i can't go any deeper i'm about to show you a glitch to go under the map let's see exactly what's in this box all we have to do is go exactly under the map just like this and the way to do that is go all the way to the edge just like so let's keep on going and eventually when you get farther and farther off the fortnite map itself if you just go under just like so eventually it will let you go under the map come on and boom just like that then go exactly back where we were before keep on going and as you can see, we are under the Fortnite map just like this. Exactly where this fire tornado is. Let's go exactly where this location is. Okay, this is perfect. This is exactly where the fire tornado is. Let's see exactly what is under this map. Okay, the fire tornado is right over there and we are under the map and all we're gonna do, you can see the hand right here and all we're gonna do is glitch under the hand just like this. Okay, we have never done this before. In fact, no one else has ever done this before. What is inside of the hand? Now let's find this out first. Three, two, one. Okay, it doesn't let us go inside, but if we go like this, we are under the map looking at the hand, and this looks insane. Okay, you can see the Pandora's box right on top of me right here, and all we're gonna do is slowly make our way over, go on top of the Pandora's box, glitch over it. All right, here we go. We're about to see exactly what is under the Pandora's box. What is inside of it? We are glitching over everything right Right now okay as you can see we have the entire box right here and it's not literally letting me go over there must be a crazy secret under this map because as you can see as soon as we try going under the map 
Looking at the Pandora's box, we can see what's under it, but it definitely won't let me glitch inside. Who knows what is inside of this box? Subscribe for more. Tip from finding the chapter four map under chapter one's island, driving cars on the OG map, pushing to Spawn Island and the Far Lands. This is every myth in OG Fortnite. There used to be a glitch to stay in the battle bus all game, leave the Fortnite map and go all the way into the Far Land. And when I mean far, you go all the way into unknown areas with different maps. Four minutes later, this guy is completely gone in the middle of nowhere and you will never get eliminated. And it just never stops, but it's still possible. This is one of the craziest OG Fortnite glitches ever. This battle bus going all the way to the end is going to keep going if I can get this working. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it with a crazy glitch. You can see the doors will open in two seconds, but now you wanna focus on the fact that every Everyone must go off the battle bus in 21 seconds. Focus on that because right when it hits zero, there is something specific you need to do. And I really hope this works. I'm so excited. Okay, eight, seven at zero seconds. All right, I just unplugged my internet and apparently, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, we're going. <laughs> no way. This is insane. We're gonna go all the way to... No. No! That myth is busted. There is now a barrier. But apparently you can fly over to the Far Lands map and it's as easy as going inside of Creative and heading on over. You can literally see it looks like a completely different Fortnite map over there. So all we're gonna do is fly on over. Oh my gosh hold on we are completely gone from the fortnite map there is no border and we are now over the far lands wait a minute wait a minute my creative phone is gone my permissions are gone and we are about to land on the far lands you can see a different textured version of tilted towers this is insane but what happens when you land on it this is the first time this has ever happened because this was never possible in og fortnite i'm freaked out come on come on please tell me i can walk on this imagine being able to do this inside of a real game we're either going to be able to walk or we're going to fall straight through i have no idea but i am so excited through Three, two, one. Here we go. Here we go. No, we fall straight through and there's water that we're also falling through. That doesn't eliminate you. If you can fly here, can you fly to Spawn Island? We've already tried either building over to Spawn Island and there's a border or using a rift to go and there's also a border as well. Watch what happens. This is me trying to go to Spawn Island, but now we have creative permissions that will probably let us go straight through the border and just go on to Spawn Island. But first, let's see what happens with this rift to go. Maybe it's different inside of creative mode. Everyone's tried this. When you reach the end, you will hit a border right when you get extremely close. But what happens if I use creative? Three, two, oh my! Yo! We're on Spawn Island, baby. So you can literally pass the border if you just phase straight through it. A secret bunker in Willy Woods for six years. No one was ever able to open this up. Then we went to the chapter two map and this remained a mystery forever. What is inside? Because it never opened. Well, now that we are in creative mode, I can easily just switch inside and end this mystery once and for all. Three, two, one. Okay, there's an empty room. You fall straight through and what happens when you fall? I am so excited. It just seems like more earth material. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, I can go through this. Hold on. Are we about to uncover a crazy storyline secret? Three, two, one, more grass. Then you go through again and we have another opening area. And then what is beneath this? It's just under the map. But are we finally going to get an answer? The Willing Woods bunker, will it finally open? I found a working car on the OG map. Wait, what? Hold on, what do you do? You go here, you go to Lonely Lodge. That kind of makes sense because that's a spot that not many people go, it's on the corner. Apparently it's around here. Okay, I see all the old cars. I see even more cars that, wait a minute. That truck, check this out. What? What? 
No one knows about this. This TikTok has like five views. Okay, we need to try this out. We need to test if this is real or fake. This is freaking Ford. I must have done this as an accident. Okay, apparently we dropped somewhere at Lonely Lodge. I can't believe that this is real. Ford, I must have completely done this by an accident or they did it as some sort of teaser. I have no idea. And I don't know how this TikTok would have been fake, but we're about to bust this myth anyways. Imagine being the only person in a Fortnite game driving around in a car when everyone else has golf carts. Okay. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's right over here. I do see some cars but first let's make sure that these old cars are not drivable and they are not just like og fortnite except for this one that is apparently over here i'm so excited subscribe to the channel if you are ready okay we have those same two cars and the truck is not there that myth is busted a brand new under the map glitch you need a rift to go you need a shopping cart and when you use the rift to go you'll fly in the sky on the shopping cart drop on down and boom! <gasps> This one is definitely real, but is it patched? Okay, all we need is a shopping cart. We need a rift to go. And we just have to head on over to Tomato Temple under the tunnel. Now that we're under the tunnel, all we gotta do is just change seats, use my rift to go, and three, two, one, come on! Oh my gosh, please, please, please! No! Apparently, this fire hydrant and tilted towers can give you god mode. Let me explain. All we're gonna do is just build up super high in the sky to a distance where we would definitely get eliminated. And now let's just go right over the fire hydrant and we need to land right on the fire hydrant. Apparently, it completely stops fall damage. In three, two, one. Oh, but if you pickaxe it right before you land, no fall damage. That's basically God mode. Did you know you can get the chapter four map back on the chapter one map? But first, before I show you this game breaking glitch, apparently the OG pass is now free, but how is this possible? It's so cool. I'm gonna be gifting 10 of my lucky subscribers the OG pass. So subscribe to the channel for a chance to win. We all know that this time machine is what brought us back from Fortnite chapter four to Fortnite chapter one. But if you glitch inside of it, this entire chapter one map will change. If I just go under and keep going under the map, watch this. This isn't even a myth. This is real. And now once we're under the map completely, just keep on heading down until you see the chapter four map once again. First, under the Loot Lake Island, this is the vortex from where the cube is going to spawn. But if we just keep on going under the map... Boom. The chapter four map is once again back. You can see Eclipse Estates. But what happens if you look up? It's still the chapter one map. So it's a crazy glitch. That myth is confirmed. Apparently in OG Fortnite, if you use code MrTop5, something insane happens. Wanna know what happens? Puts a huge smile on my face. Thanks guys. This is a TikTok showing someone activating the Fortnite Mare's time machine. But how do you do that? And is it real? That's just one of many myths we're testing out today in Fortnite's update. Fortnite Mares is officially here, which brings a ton of glitches, myths, and game-breaking secrets that no one knows about. Did you know about the secret room above the time machine? I'm in creative right now, and I can phase through any object, so I can literally go inside of the time machine, see what happens, but also see what is inside of this secret room. All we're gonna do is start with the time machine in three, two, what? What is inside? Is there anything? It doesn't seem like it. But what about above the time machine? Is there a huge laboratory? Is Dr. Sloan there? Is Midas back? Let's find out. You can see a bunch of wires connected to the time machine, but what is actually inside? Three, two, one. It looks like just an empty room, but the secret room is here. That myth is confirmed. Can you destroy the time machine with every single vaulted Fortnite item should not be in game but first before we do that can you normally break the time machine with just a pickaxe it does not let you no matter what but what about with vaulted items for using crazy items like the infinity blade let's start with a junk rift doesn't even affect it because there's a roof on top of it. What about using a torch? Nothing at all. But how about dynamite? Come on, come on! Okay, there's so much around it. Something has got to happen. Nothing at all. But I can't wait for the infinity blade. What about the shockwave hammer? Three, 
two, one. Oh, come on. One of these items has to do something, man. These are all vaulted, and the time machine has never seen these. Zig and Choppy's ray gun. It just does not affect it at all. What about a quad launcher? The most overpowered item ever. Three, two, one. Nothing at all. That is crazy. If you use a propomatic, can I disguise as the time machine? All we're gonna do is go right up to the chair. No, it does not work. What about bottle rockets? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <gasps> That is crazy, but nothing is happening at all. One of these items is bound to break it. What about the boom box? If you guys did not know, this item has been notorious for breaking items and objects that you're not supposed to break in other Fortnite seasons. So let's throw it. Come on. Oh, God, please. Please. They just instantly disappear. If you throw it right on the seat. Come on. Oh, it just breaks it. But what about the Infinity Blade? Which has not been back in Fortnite in years because this was the most overpowered item of all time. Let's just start with a basic hit. Okay, it just literally goes right through. What if we go down and we smash? Oh, this thing is invincible. That myth is busted. But before we try going back to Fortnite Chapter 1, apparently this is live in game now. And if you're wondering what this is, this is the Chapter 1 Sky, a teaser of using the time machine. But is this already in game? Here is the exact location that you have to go to at Mega City to see this, right at this location. And when I turn around, three, two, one. No, it is not in game yet. What if I activate the time machine? early how do you do it apparently we'll start seeing more time machines on the map we'll start seeing chapter one objects like for example the dirt burger which we haven't seen from chapter one or the tomato head will this tiktok work apparently agent jones is back on the island giving us storyline secrets about the time machine but what happens if you speak to him as kato thorne the vampire himself will it tell you some clues about the time machine here's what it says so i hear we have a time traveling vampire problem now well, that's just super. We haven't seen Jonesy in months. We are now the vampire form of Kato Thorne who's going through the time machine. So before we try going in it and going back to chapter one, what happens if I speak to Agent Jones, who finally has arrived back to the island as the vampire himself? It's the same exact message. Jones has finally arrived to save the day. Okay, apparently someone already found a way to activate the Four Nightmares time machine and that looked very real. But first, for everybody watching this excited for Halloween and Fort Nightmares, please subscribe to the channel and help me reach 5 million subscribers. I need a chapter one skin because we are going back. I think I'm going to use Gold Trooper. The first thing you want to do is drop into a normal lobby and go to Eclipse Estates because that is where the time machine is. If you didn't know, pay attention and follow all the steps because there is a lot you need to specifically do do once you drop down go straight towards the time machine itself okay so you have to ignore all the guards all the turrets you can't eliminate anyone this might be patched very soon okay then what pay close attention here because once you make the boss angry you need to do something specific to activate the time machine Okay, where is the boss? Once you find him, when he gets angry like this, go to your computer settings and quickly change your date and time to July 12th, 2018, the day on the time machine. Make sure the boss is angry while doing this. Go back in the game and then eliminate the boss. Okay, so their date is literally set to 2018. You have to restart if you get eliminated. Go back to normal, then resetting it the next time the boss gets angry. Pay very close attention here. There's more steps because once you eliminate the boss, you need to do one more insanely important thing. I would recommend getting a ton of heals and ammo for this boss because it seems like he's even stronger after you change your date and time. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. I want to see what he does here. So he eliminates the boss and then there's another step after that. He literally has a crazy method of eliminating the boss because he just stays there. Back to chapter one 
Now that the boss is eliminated, head towards the time machine. Okay, and then what do you do? You just walk into it? I'm ready to go home. Go towards the time machine, and it looks like it's ready to activate. Then what? What do you do? Simply head towards it, okay, and then walk up to the top. And then what? Jump? And eventually you will... Is that real? Is that real? Is that real? We need to test this out. This seems too real to be fake. Fortnite will patch us soon and we unlock the next season early. Watch this. Where does he end up? Fortnite, please don't ban me for this. He's wearing the same skin. I am so excited. This is the craziest glitch I have ever discovered in my life. And apparently everyone in that lobby is a bot because nobody else knows about this glitch. We need to try it now. Okay, apparently we're about to go back to chapter one. All I have to do is just ignore all the bosses and straight down to the bus. And once I make him angry, we have to change our date. Okay, we have to walk by this turret too. Completely ignore it. Don't let it shoot me. All right, Kato Thorn, are you ready to send me back to chapter one? But first, this is a wood stick shotgun, the brand new legendary shotgun. What is the max distance you can shoot someone from? And what's the most damage? He's 38 meters away, and you can shoot him from there. What about 50? What about a shot to that? 210? 232? This shotgun's insane. But now that this boss is angry, we have to change our date and time. Okay, quickly go to my settings, uncheck set automatically, and then change it to July 12th, 2018. Well, I've got to do this quick. And now let's eliminate the boss and see what happens. Come on, he's almost eliminated. We can't mess this up. What about the Maxis to the head? 265. That is crazy. And now all we have to do, we are set in 2018 right now. We're just going to go up to the time machine and let's see if this works. All right. Go up to it. Now hop on in. And now start jumping. And please, please, please. No! Either I did it wrong or that myth is busted. Comment down below and subscribe for more. From glitching inside the second vault with the time machine inside of the first vault to getting an unreleased season four skin early. This is every Fortnite season four myth. If I go up to the vault and steal one of the vaulted items, can I steal more than one? Apparently there is a way to do this because if you didn't know, if you go inside the vault itself, all of the vaulted items are right here, but it's only gonna let you take one until the alarm sounds and you can't take another and we're also testing out what's behind this vault later in the video because if you try to go inside there's no key card you can't glitch inside but i'm gonna show you later but first all we're gonna do is steal one and now let's try stealing another and it doesn't let you no matter what you do i tried going right away and it just didn't work myth busted can you get two items at once if you have two people who press e at the exact same time we're about to find out because apparently this will work. Okay, so as soon as I say go, pick an item. Are you ready? Go! All right, we both just smashed it. Did you get an item though? That myth is busted. I got an item, but she didn't. Even though she opened up the case, she smashed it. Nothing came out. Fortnite will patch this no fall damage glitch any day, and they don't even know about it yet. All I'm gonna do is go super far above the sky, and here's how to do it. Just place down a platform like this, place down a business turret like this, and then stand on it. Now, if someone shoots you down, or if someone goes ahead and breaks your build, watch what happens. I'm falling down, and... And no fall damage. That is just one of many myths. What is inside the secret vault that no one can get to? These are all questions we're answering later in the video. Can you eliminate yourself with the rocket ram if you shoot it straight at the ground? But first, is there no fall damage if you shoot it up all the way in the sky as far as you could go and then you land down? There is definitely no fall damage because that's the purpose of the item. But instead of going up, what if you just go straight down? Three. Two, one, let's do it! Oh, you can't eliminate yourself.
itself, it just bounces you off. Myth busted. If you go to place down a business turret and you go into a wrong spot, it will say invalid surface. Cannot place turret. But apparently, there's a way to place them down, glitch them, and make them invincible. The first thing we're going to try doing is just throwing it like this. Oh, it just bounces off and then it places it. Myth busted. But how far can you actually throw this thing? You can see the range seems absolutely insane. Three, two, one, throw it. Oh my gosh, that actually went pretty far. That was 40 meters. But how many walls will the rocket ram break through? Let's find out. Okay, instead of shooting it straight up in the air, we're gonna shoot it straight forward. You can aim it like this in three, two, one. Oh, it does five. That's actually crazy. If you aim straight down off a cliff with the rocket ram, can you glitch under the map? Let's find out. Come on. No, that myth is busted. Apparently you can glitch outside of the map with the brand new rocket ram and something insane happens. But can Mr. Top 5 hit 5 million subscribers? My haters are telling me it's not true. Please subscribe. Let's find out. All right, all we're gonna do is just start flying until we can't stop. Now that we're in the water, we just gotta wait 25 seconds and then we repeat. If you didn't know there's a border outside of the map, you can pass the border, get to all of these islands outside of the map. I don't know if it's true. I don't know if it's false. Let's find out. Okay, here we go, round two. Oh my gosh, we are getting very close to the storm already. And as you can see now, we have just hit the border. We can't go any farther. I'm pressing the W key, but now when we rocket ride again, what is about to happen? Do we blow up? Do we go through? Let's find out. Okay, I am nervous. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> no, that myth is busted. If I were the boss, Kato Thornskin, and I go up to the boss's location, will the guards and the boss itself think that I'm friendly? Apparently, this is real. Is this some sort of secret? Fortnite left in. All we're gonna do is approach the location. There is a guard right there on the right. And three, two, one, let's hop out of our car. And he's very mad. Okay, but what about the boss himself right down here next to the vault? Is this an easy way to get to the vault? Eliminate the boss. All right, let's walk down to him right now. Okay, what is about to happen? He's right over here. Oh no, he's not friendly. That myth is busted. If this vault isn't able to be opened, isn't able to be broken, then what is inside of it? We're about to glitch inside in replay mode and obviously there is a lot of significance. Whatever this design means, it's clearly showing that this vault is even more important than the first one. Who knows, maybe vaulted items for years like the Zapatron is inside. Apparently if you use code Mr. Top 5 in the item shop, you get a free cookie. Try it out. So all we're going to do is glitch inside in three, two, one. Can we go in? We can. We are, we're in. Okay, what is inside of here? It's very blurry, but if we keep on going, it's about to unblur. There's literally stairs. Okay, hold on. I just saw sparks over there. We're actually outside of the map now, so this part is completely unfinished. Can you rocket ride with the brand new rocket ram? As soon as I say jump, I want you to jump, and let's see what happens. All right, and jump! No! Jump. Okay, it's not gonna work. What happens if two people use the rocket ram at the exact same time? Do we ram into each other? Does it explode or does it cancel out? I'm gonna go super far away. And when I say go, let's press left click at the same time. Three, two, one, go! Oh my gosh! Oh, it literally just explodes each other. If you try placing a business turret on any vehicle, it won't let you. But I have a feeling there's a way to do it. If I try placing it down, it just simply doesn't work. But what happens if we build up like this above the car, place down a turret, and then break the build? All we gotta do is go right under the car. It is now perfectly aligned under the car itself. And now let's just edit the build and see what happens. Three, two, one. Okay, it just moved. And now let's do it again. Come on, please work. 
No! Amethyst oh, is busted. Can you get the unreleased Diamond Dealer skin free and early? We are using Mystique, and all we're gonna do is start by eliminating all of the guards, and then let's eliminate the Diamond Dealer last. But is this gonna work? All we gotta do is take him down. Come on, this will be absolutely game-breaking if it works. Okay, we're Mystique, and now, three, two, one! Yes! Unreleased Diamond Dealer skin. We just got it early. This watchtower allows you to see every future storm, but what happens if you go to the tippity top of it? All I'm gonna do, forecast available, let's hit secure forecast. And now I can see every future storm circle. But if you think that's cool, what's at the top of it? Let's find out. All right, all we gotta do is build up. Can we stay on the top and then break the builds? Because that is an insane hiding spot to get infinite wins if this works all right we're getting closer and closer this is so high up but can we stay on the top okay we are now all the way on the top and what happens if i try going on it jump on the top no it doesn't let you that would have been game breaking that myth is busted from a secret cursed mythic item, getting unlimited mythics with a glitch. That's just two of many Jujutsu Kaisen myths we're testing in Fortnite. If you have a hollow purple and you build up all the way to max height, then you fall and use it at the last second, does it prevent fall damage? And jump! Okay, right before we hit the ground, we need to use it! Come on, come on, please work and nicely land on the ground. No fall damage. Myth confirmed. But oh, there's some even crazier ones. This is the invincible zero point, and apparently with these new mythics, you can blow it up if you shoot it in a very specific spot. Obviously, with any single other Fortnite item, it's invincible. It doesn't do anything at all. But we have three hollow purples, and we have three of the other technique. Oh my gosh, it just went right through it. I need to throw it in a different spot. What about the straw doll technique? If you throw it at it, it explodes. Let's keep on trying. Throw it again and throw it one more time. Okay, what happens if you use the hollow purple? Go right up to the zero point. Can you just blow it up? Let's find out. Come on. Oh, it does not work. That zero point is literally invincible, but that's not as crazy as... Can you get two of the brand new mythics in your inventory at once? I have one right now, and there's another one on the ground. All we're gonna do... All right, it doesn't let me pick up two, but what happens if I drop an item from my inventory? Okay, it, nope, it doesn't let me, but what happens if I glitch, shut off my internet, and convince Fortnite? I don't have the other item as well. We're gonna use this with the hollow purple, because obviously I have one in my inventory, and I assume if I pick up the other one, it won't let me hold two, but I have a glitch to hold unlimited mythics, and I need to see if this works. Two on the ground, pick up one. Now let's Let's pick up the other and will it swap or no, it just completely swaps. I can't hold two, but watch this. While in the game, all I'm going to do is just quickly go to my internet connection, right click and just turn off the internet for a second. Okay, my internet is completely off. Okay, now we just quickly re-enable the internet and pick up both the items. No, I really thought that would work, but that myth is busted. Can you eliminate yourself with the hollow purple? First thing I'm going to do before aiming it right down at my feet i'm gonna aim it right in the sky see if it comes back and hits me apparently if you aim it in the sky it comes back three two one throw it okay here it goes goodbye and it's apparently gonna come back and hit us oh no it doesn't okay so now let's see what happens if i aim it right at the ground is it going to eliminate us three two one all right oh my gosh Oh my gosh, and it's gone. It does not eliminate you if you aim at your feet. Good to know. Apparently, if you land on a cursed llama in this update, you are able to ride it. Similar to the dinosaurs, similar to everything else. All we're gonna do is just try landing on it. Attempt one! We landed right next to it and got rifted away, but we need to land on it now. It's right below me on the mini-map. Let's see what happens if you land right on top of it. This has never been done before! Come on! All right, we can't mess this up. We can apparently ride it. Come on, three... Oh no, it's moving. 
Oh, no, it's moving. And, oh, we landed on it. And it literally threw us off. That myth is busted. You can't ride the llamas. What is the max distance the straw doll technique can eliminate someone from? My friend is four meters away, and we are about to go 100 meters away as the first test. But can it shoot to 1,000 meters? No one has ever done this before. All right, we are now 70. We are now 80. Let's hit 100. All right, we're at 90. And now we are at 100 meters away. 120 meters away. Three, two, one. It does. Now let's go even further. Let's go to 200 meters away. All right, we're at 150. Apparently, this thing could go from extremely far. 170, 180, 190. And let's go 200 meters. Can I still see her? Three, two, one. Shoot it from 217. It still hits. 250 meters away. We are way up in the sky right now. All right, that's 250. Three, two, one. 235. Oh my gosh, it still eliminates. Let's go even further to 260. You're now 300 meters away. And three, two, one. Throw it. There is a glitch that when you're 300 meters away, the damage markers won't even show up. In fact, the person you're trying to eliminate won't even show up. So I'm actually hitting her right now every time I aim at her, and it's not even showing up. It looks like I'm completely missing, but if you don't believe me, watch what happens as we keep on doing this. 305 meters away, I'm about to eliminate her, I think, if this glitch actually works. Or is this even a glitch at all? Let's see if she gets eliminated. I'm gonna freak out if she does. But keep on watching. One more shot is gonna eliminate her. Look at this. It wasn't even showing up with any hit marker or any damage markers, but it still eliminated her. 300 seems like the limit, but who knows how much further you can go without even having damage markers. What is the farthest the hollow purple can eliminate someone from? All right, she is now 40 meters away. Let's get her to 50 meters. Now let's get to 60 meters. Let's get to 70 meters. Can you shoot? it from that far all right she is 83 meters away and three two one just shoot it all right what happens will it hit her will it hit her and it does 130 damage let's go all the way up now let's try going 200 meters okay we are 160 meters away 170 let's get to 180 190 okay we're 200 meters away will this work three two one i think there's no way come on oh my gosh is it gonna hit her is it gonna hit her i can't even see it no, it explodes. So if 200 meters is too far, what is the max distance? How about 150? If this doesn't work, then the max distance is 100. Three, two, one, let's find out. All right, it's going, it's going. And is it gonna hit her? No! Okay, so if 100 meters hit her and 200 meters didn't hit her, is 100 the max distance? Let's find out. We're gonna go all the way over once again. 30 meters, we're now 40 meters, 50 meters. Let's go to 101 meters, just like this. All right, three, two, one, aim and throw it. Come on, come on, is it gonna hit her? Is it gonna hit her? No! Right before it hit her, it exploded. Max distance is officially 100 meters. What happens if two people use the hollow purple at the exact same time? Will they clash? Will they cancel out? Will we both explode? Let's find out. I'm gonna go a little ways away from her, and as soon as she uses it, I'm gonna use it too. Three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> No! Mine went right through. I shot it way too far up, but they definitely don't cancel out. That myth is busted. Okay, apparently you can get both new mythics in creative mode. If I go to the creative menu and I look inside of weapons, obviously both the mythics are not here. This is because they're a collaboration item. There's copyright issues. For example, if I look up hollow purple, it is not here, but apparently you can bypass it and get it in your map. This map you can see has the hollow purple as the icon and it's says hollow purple free for 
after all. So let's copy this code and let's see if this is real. If this is real, Fortnite is going to ban this map soon. All right, here's the code. Hollow purple free for all. Exactly. Like it says on the website, new hollow purple mythic. Okay. Fortnite, please do not ban me for this because I know this mythic is not allowed in creative mode. I'm just doing this for team top five. Make sure to subscribe because I'm risking my Fortnite account right now. Okay, we're officially in the map. It's just the icon of the mythic itself. I'm looking through all of these items and I don't see it, but it says get randomly teleported. I assume this is where you're gonna get the item. Here we go. Okay, now we're in the center and the mythic is nowhere to be found. That myth is completely busted. Do not play this Fortnite map. That guy's a liar. Apparently, if you see a cursed llama and you use the mythic you got from another cursed llama on the llama itself, it drops another mythic item and it's a cursed shield. Let's try eliminating the llama using the straw doll technique and see what happens when it gets eliminated. You can combine it with other items, but you just have to use the straw doll. All right, let's see what happens when we eliminate this llama, real or fake. Apparently, it's just a chance of this happening. All right, say goodbye. Okay, there's a few mythic items for sure. I don't know what else is inside of this pile, but I'm looking forward to it. Please be real. Let's make a deal. If this is real, you have to subscribe. I don't see it anywhere, but maybe it's just a small chance. Please subscribe anyways. Apparently you can fly the Futurama rocket ship. That is just one of many Futurama Fortnite myths we're testing today. If you use Bender's ray gun and you shoot the dragon, does it make it breathe fire? Let's see in three, two, one, come on. Let's go all the way shooting its mouth. It does not seem like it does anything. That myth is busted. This is the zero point and this is Bender's shiny metal ray gun. Obviously, no matter what you do, if you shoot the zero point, nothing happens. It makes these crazy noises and it seems like it's about to pop. But what no one has tried doing is zapping the zero point with Bender's shiny metal ray gun. So let's be the first to do this. I am nervous. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Wait a minute. It makes a mark, but nothing really happens. The zero point just seems like it's invincible. That myth is busted. Is there a secret dialogue? If we equip the Bender skin, just like the NPC, but we give him the universe one style. Fortnite loves to be sneaky, so the Bender NPC will probably see himself in a different form and maybe give us a crazy secret. Okay, the moment of truth, Bender is right over there, and we are wearing a different style of Bender. What? What happens when he sees us? Will he get aggressive? Will he give us secret dialogue? I am excited. All right, Bender. Hello, it's your friend, Bender. Wait, he's just staring at me, not saying a thing. He's just looking. Who is that? All right, but let's talk to him in three, two, one. Hey, we must have been made in the same factory. No way. That myth is confirmed. What is the max distance Bender's shiny metal ray gun can eliminate someone from? All right, my friend is three meters away. All we're gonna do is go so we are 50 meters away. We're now 35. Let's keep on going and see if it can hit her from 50 meters. All right, go a little bit less and that's 50 meters and three, two, one. It can. Now, what if we go even further? What if we go to 60 meters? In three, two, one, it also can. What about 70 meters? Okay, that's 79. Let's go a little bit less. Okay, you can also hit from 70. Can we get up to 100 meters away? This is now 90. You still can hit. This is so far. All right, let's go even further. This is now 107 meters away, and you can still hit. How much farther is this going to go? All right, we are now 125 meters away. You can still hit. What is the max distance? We are now 140 meters meters away in three, two, one. You can still hit from 140 meters. Okay, this is getting actually insane. What about 160 meters? You still can. Does this thing go up to 200 meters away? This might be one of the most overpowered Fortnite guns I have ever seen. We are now 200 meters and we're gonna have to build a floor so we can even reach her. All right, 192. 
You still can! 206 meters! Oh my gosh! This is insane! All right, let's go all the way to 250 now. This is one of the craziest things I've ever seen. Okay, first 239. Wait, that might be it. It doesn't hit from 239. But what is the limit? What about 228? It doesn't hit there either. 218. No, 208 doesn't hit there either. What about 197? Let's go exactly 200 away and you can hit. That is a crazy myth. I can't wait to try flying the future on my rocket ship, but first, subscribe to the channel if you love this video to join Team Top 5. And you get the shiny metal ray gun in creative. It's not supposed to be there because it's a collaboration item. It's copyright. So all we're gonna do is go to the Fortnite weapons. You can see there are so many and it doesn't appear that it's there. And if you search ray gun, the only things that show up are Zig and Choppies. Obviously, this is literally just a rebrand. But what if you go to recently added? Is this a secret menu? Three, two, one. It's only the mammoth pistol that was added. Apparently, all you have to do is place a ton of chests right next to each other, and it glitches the game. This has worked years and years ago with unreleased items, with vaulted items that Fortnite doesn't want you to use in creative. All we're gonna do is open up every one of these chests and see what happens. Fortnite, please don't ban me for this, okay? Come on, start opening up chests and I'll fast forward until we find it. Okay, we have looked through so many chests and I can't find it anywhere. Fortnite must have really not added it to creative this time. Apparently, if you do the Zoidberg scuttle right in front of Bender with this traversal emote, he does something insane. I don't know if it's true, but Bender is 60 meters away and i am nervous all right we're catching up to him as soon as he turns around and looks at me i have a feeling we're gonna just get eliminated instantly no one has tried this before and i'm scared this is the craziest thing ever all right mr bender is now turning around hello bender how you doing today i am also bender you already said we're made in the same factory oh gosh oh gosh here we go He's not doing anything. Wait, he's just staring at me. Well, I guess he's not gonna attack me. That's good at least, but now does he say anything different? Now, it's all the same. That myth is busted. Apparently, you can glitch inside and drive the Planet Express rocket. And nobody is talking about this. All you have to do is land in a specific spot. How to fly the Planet Express Futurama ship. This is a secret Easter egg that Fortnite left in and have only seen one other person do this ever. Let me show you exactly how to do it. I asked them and they explained, but they told me not to tell everyone, although I am going to tell everyone because you are my TikTok fans. Okay, this could be real. I think you deserve to know do this before Fortnite removes the collab. All you have to do is drop down. Wait, he's going to the big TV screen with the ship itself. Okay, what is about to happen? What glitch is he gonna do? You have to land on the ship in one specific spot. And if you don't, this won't work. Then you have to walk to one area in order for the E to enter screen to show up. Okay, he lands right on the top. As you can see, I'm landing down. And once you are here, you need to go all the way on the wing without falling. Do this extremely carefully. Otherwise, it will not work, okay? And you won't be able to drive the ship. Then what does he do? Keep on going and once you are all the way there, what do you do now? Look to the right and boom! Okay, we need to try. Real or fake, we're about to test it out. Okay, the rocket is right over there and obviously Fortnite's teasing it because with the glider, we also have the Planet Express rocket. And if you did not know, you can literally land on the thing. So there's a huge possibility that you can get inside of it. All right, all I have to do is land on the top just like so. And apparently there's one specific area where it says E to enter. I don't don't know if this is true, but no one has done this before. Apparently, all you have to do is go on that wing on the left and then look to the right and you will see the button E to enter. Let's test it out. Okay, let's go on the wing itself in three, two, one. 
All right, we are now on the wing. Now we just have to go all the way to the back over here so we can put our mouse cursor on the back. Three, two, one. Okay. Uh, it's not working. I'm not seeing anything at all. But if this isn't real and you can't drive the rocket, is it a planned update in the future? If you glitch inside, what is actually inside of the rocket? Is there a driver's seat? Is there a passenger seat? I'm about to show you how to do it. Okay, glitch number two to drive the rocket. All I'm going to do is get a ton of mats. I saw this everywhere in my comments that this works and it actually glitches you inside. So we're going to see if this is real or fake for Team Top 5. I am so excited. Imagine driving this rocket and being the only one to know how to do it. Okay, all I'm going to do is use all of my mats, build up as far as I can possible, and land on the rocket and apparently it will glitch us in. Like, you literally get stuck there. We are on top of the rocket. Is right down there what happens if we land on this thing in three two one jump oh my gosh <laughs> Okay, maybe not, but you can still glitch inside. Let me show you. Okay, we are now in replay mode to glitch inside of the insides of this rocket. See if there's a driver's seat. See if Fortnite is planning on making this a vehicle or if there's just nothing at all inside. And if there's nothing, that means it's just a prop. All right, all we're gonna do, please let us in. But before we do that, what about this TV with a huge hole in it? Now that there's a hole in the TV, can we go inside? side of this TV and see if there's any sort of Fortnite season four leak or anything like that. Hypnotoad, give us Fortnite season four. Come on, please let us inside. Three, two, one. Come on. No, it doesn't let us inside of the TV. That is crazy. But what about this rocket? Is it going to be a drivable? Is it going to be a drivable vehicle? Three, two, one. One, you can literally see the windows. This looks promising. There has to be something inside of this dang thing. Come on, please. Okay, we're inside and there is absolutely nothing. Okay, it's probably not going to be a Fortnite vehicle. That, that stinks. Myth busted. Subscribe for more.